Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcome you to episode 4 of, um, <laughs> Super Mario RPG, that's it. I was about to say The Legend of Zelda, and then, yeah, okay. Why didn't I crash for a while? No, I already talked to you last time. Alright, so, um, in the last episode, I wasn't feeling too well, and I had to end my rec recording session early, but now I am in tip-top shape, ready to go. So, um, yeah, let's just explore for a little while, let's see what's around here. Say hey, Mario, guess what? Rainy isn't just a friend anymore, we're getting married! Oh, that's great for you guys, you guys are awesome. Do you happen to know of a good wedding chapel? Uh, maybe. Maybe someday. In the distant future, we will visit a wedding chapel or something. Uh, I don't really feel like visiting all these houses on second thought. Let's just check out the shop here. Why not? Let's see. Oh, Mal came out, awesome. Hey Mal, what kept you? I was starting to worry! What, is he your grandson or something? Jeez. Wait until you hear this. You see... Wait, I've already heard. Old Frog Fuchsius. Frog Fuchsius. That's a very strange name. But I'll roll with it. Told me. He seems to know everything. Hold on. Listen. The truth of the matter is... Well, um... The coin was stolen. What? Well, if that's the case, then I guess we can't trade. What a shame. Huh? Oh, but there's no need to worry. Mario here will help us out. Is that so? Well, if Mario's on your team, you'll have the coin back in a jiffy. A jiffy. Wow. That's a real measurement of time or something, isn't it? Oh, you got me- you gave me a pick-me-up. That- I think that revives a dead party member in battle or something. And he loves his job. That's great for you, buddy. Alright, uh, what can you give me? You can give me mushrooms, honey syrups, pick-me-ups, able juices. Able juices is like cure status ailments. We haven't gotten into those yet. Right. Okay, so here's some nice equipment that you might want to pick up. There's a shirt for Mario, pants for Mallow. Actually, I'm going to buy these. Uh, jump shoes for Mario. And uh, pins for Mario and Mallow. But I don't have enough coins for both. Or for two pins. So, yeah. Now, let's equip those. Oops. Okay, our armor right now. It'll go up by quite a substantial number, as you can see. Jeez. Who knew a, a shirt could do so much for you? And for Mallow, it's also going to go up quite a bit. Not not as much as Mario, for some reason. But I guess pants are less effective at protecting you than a shirt. Especially when you don't have any legs. Hard, like, Mallow hardly has legs. Alright, we'll equip that. And uh, we'll equip this to Mallow, because he needs more defenses. Sweet. So, we're done here now, I think. Oh, no, wait, there's stairs back here. Awesome. Let's check it out. I order you to stand before me. Alright. Now I order you to jump. Okay. Oh, thanks, dude. In this world, there are things called hidden treasures. Oh, my God. Use your awesome jumping ability to look for them. Awesome jumping ability. Did you really just say that? Alright. Um, but that's not all that's in this room, as a matter of fact. Okay, first we're gonna leave, then we're gonna come back. Let me see if this will help us get on his head, I think. Oh, no, wait. Okay, we're gonna try and get him to move over to that corner. Go to the corner, buddy. There you go. And then you get an invi another invisible flower block there. Which is cool. Yay, peace! I'm on top of the shelves! Yeah! Oh, hey! What do you think you're doing? Get off there at this minute! Well, you stupid senile old man. I hate you. Um, by the way, something that came to my attention kind of in message, but not really, so I'm not going to, like, credit for them for it. It's just an idea that ca I kind of came to my head. Um, let me just, I'm just going to check my status real quick. But, look, um, the hints that I gave for this LP, no one technically deciphered them yet. So I was thinking that it would be a neat little competition to see if the first person who can decipher both of the hints and message me with the correct answers to them... I will give them a shout out in one of my videos. Like, I don't know which video it will be, because I don't know when someone's going to decipher it, but yeah. So, and for those of you who weren't at my streams, here are the two hints Mosquitoes, yes, mosquitoes, and Vulcan. V U C L, I mean, V U L C A N. Vulcan. So, those are your two hints. Um, Go ahead and try if you want a shout out. Um, I don't have too many subscribers, so it won't matter too much, but it'll be pretty cool nonetheless. Mario, I have something to report, sir. What is it, comrade? Wow. It's like we're in the army or something, isn't it? I saw him. He's here somewhere. He just zoomed past me a second ago. Did you see him? 
did he look something like this? And Mario shapeshifts again into the evil crocodile. You would even steal a picture of a seasick crocodile. He's the one who took my coin. Why didn't you stop him? Because I forgot my bazooka at home. Sheesh. <laughs> wow. Give me a break here. And we both faceplant. Come back here. What? Croco. Har har. Use. Use mug. Wait, use mugs will never catch me. A snail could outrun you, morons. Later. And he darts past us. Wow. Are we gonna fall over? Oh, Mario's about to fall over. Come on. That's him. Hurry, Mario. Let's get him. Accidents on the M much, Mario? Jeez. Just because your name starts with it doesn't mean you have to accentuate it every time. Alright, so this is Bandit's way, and there's Croco. Let's get him. Come on. Mal is pissed off. Yeah, he's ready. He's raring to go. There he is. He's probably stashed it in that bag. Let's nab him. Yeah, buddy. Are you trying to tail me? Go, go on home. Go on home to mommy before you get hurt, kid. And he runs off past the spinies and everything. All right. Um. Uh, let's see. Oh God, no. Scary. Oh, look at this. There's a new enemy in this battle. That's cool. Um. This is. A frog hog. This is an enemy that you never actually encounter in the field. It's only ever like a partner with another enemy. So I'm just gonna attack the Goomba and the Spiny and stuff until um. I only got an HP max, even though I didn't need it. So I can show off that frog frog hog's abilities. All right, and here is Mallow. This is basically our partner system. You can. So basically, Mallow has all the same commands. He can use all the same items. Like you have a shared inventory. There's he's more of a magic user instead of like a physical jump thing like Mario does, I don't know. He has Thunderbolt, which is cool. Um, it hits things with thunder. Some enemies are weak to thunder, it's cool. And you can run everything too. He doesn't have a weapon right now, so basically it's the, he has the same attack as Mario, he just punches stuff. And same action command as Mario too. Just like when he his arm extends all the way and he has freaking long arms, jeez. I guess he just doesn't have any bones or something. Okay, so you can... He hit Mallow for zero damage. Well, that's what happens when you block it perfectly, but yeah. Yeah, so when Mallow's first arm reaches its full extension, press A and he'll punch again. So cool. Mallow doesn't really do too much physical damage. He can do quite a lot with Thunderbolt. Um, let me, I'm going to try it on the Frog Dog, actually. And did you hear that little extra bolt that happened after the lightning had faded? That was a result of me hitting the action command. Yes, so many action commands, so little time. On that... Oh, I missed the action command. Oh, did I ever talk about the action command for the hammer? Oh, God, so many action commands, just like I said. But for the hammer, it's whenever... It's right when the hammer basically hits the ground or its lowest point that you want to hit the button again. Um, and for the thunderbolt... It's basically right after all the lightning and like the blue texture on the screen fades away. Then you press the button again and uh, you will. And then you'll have the little extra oomph at the end. Oomph is such an awesome word. Yep. You know, like try and oomph. It makes triumph. Come on, Mario. And yeah. Oh, no, he's not dead. Wow. These things have a lot more HP than I thought. But Mallow killed him. Wow. Alright, so XP points 3, nah, nah, nah. Alright, uh, there's a spiny there. Oh, cut this out. Okay, guys, we got a honey syrup from that battle, so that's cool. So, yeah. Um, here's a save block. Uh, I'll pass that up for now. Let's just keep on going here. Anything else around? Oh, no! Go, run away! Okay, so let's just keep on progressing through the area then. Avoid the stupid spiny. No, it's spiky, I think, actually. Even though there are spinies in every other game. You couldn't jump to save your life, kid, so I guess this is goodbye. Do you know who you're talking to? This is Mario, the master of jumping. Oh, you picked up the coin. Damn him. He's obsessed with coins. Alright, so just like the other flower before, jump like that. Um, oh, down here there are some new enemies. But, uh, let me see. Oh, no, this isn't the right area that I was thinking of. There, I thought there was going to be like an item block or something somewhere. Anyway, so this enemy is like a K9, or KG, that's what I thought I said in the first time I played this, I thought I said KG. But no, it's K9, for the obvious pun. Um, they're not too strong. Oh, fangs. Yeah, that's not too great, buddy. Whatever. Anyways, um, so... 
Yep. Just basically standard here. They to me they look like they have glasses on or something. I don't know. These things look really weird. It's like they're dogs with shoes and glasses. It's just strange. All right, just beating up down on these people. Attack up. Oh, okay, that's another flower. Um, I, pretty much all these flowers are self-explanatory except for like one or two. But attack up raises your attack. Cool. Makes you so that you can do more damage. Quite useful. I'll take this guy out, sure. Okay, so that right there, um, I probably just cut in there. I got another flower there. It said once again. That basically means that right after that attack, you get to attack one more time. And a little interesting thing that not a lot of people actually know about that, or I guess quite a few people do, but I didn't know for a while, is that after... At, on the turn after you get a once again flower, so like the turn that you've been granted from the once again flower, if you do more damage to the to an enemy on that turn, then uh, you will get another once again flower, and you can just keep doing that provided you keep on getting um, higher damage counts than your previous turn. So yeah, that's cool. All right. Um. Yeah. Jeez, there's a lot of talking going on along, along in this RPG. I thought it would be the opposite that like you talk less and talk less in an RPG. Aw, oh, damn why didn't that work? Basically, you're supposed to be able to, like, jump from this flower to that note, from this spinning flower to that flower, and you get a Kira Kira Cola. I think that basically completely heals any one party member. Like, all their... And, and it, like, it restores all the FP, all the HP. Um, yeah. And by the way, something about FP, I think all characters, like, all your partners and stuff, share your FP, so... That's worth noting. Oh, you're a persistent, persistent bugger, but I'm a hundred miles ahead of you. You're 10,000 light years away from facing me. Yeah, yeah, you shut up. All right, anything of interest? No? Oh god, Goomba. Man, we're already like over 12 minutes into the episode. I feel like I haven't done anything yet, even though I actually have done quite a bit. All right, let's see. Where did Croco go? No! Alright, so we got a mushroom from that battle, not bad. Oh, and Mallow levels up. He reaches level 3, so... Yeah, when you get him, he starts at level 2. Oh, he learned HP Rain. Um, basically... I don't really know the action command for that one, but... Um, so if someone knows, then they can tell me, but... I'll show that off... I think maybe in the next battle, I'm not sure. Maybe in the boss battle of this area, but... Basically, it heals one of your party members, so... Yeah, it's cool. Anyways, um, uh, there's Croco. Let's get him! Come on! Get him! No! Alright, so we're back now. Let's continue following Croco. Because we gotta get Mallow's coin back, yeah. And he's failing at navigating those platforms. Wow. Give it up already! That treasure box is tempting, but now is not the time. Yes, it is. Every it's always the time for a treasure box. Especially what's in that treasure box. I think it's especially good. Okay, so these platforms, they work like when you're standing on it, that other one moves, and when you get off of it, that then it does. Oh, crap. Okay, we got a mushroom from that battle. Not bad. Sweet. All right, so we want to we wanna get this treasure box. Trust me, I th if it's the one I think it is. Oh, yes, it is. See, we get star power. It basically means you run into all the enemies, and I think you actually get... Oh, look, level up. Sweet. You get, like, all the experience and uh, stuff. Yeah, see, Mario reaches level four. Yay. Alright, so we did special for level 2, and then this, and so this will be... Alright. Yeah, but I think you basically get, like, all the experience and coins and stuff. I don't know about coins, actually, but you get, I know you get all the experience for the battle if you just run with them with star power. Um, a neat little trick for grinding in this game if you want to. Um, you can go back to that save block that we saw early, in the, early on in the video, and if you save there and then come here, use the star power... And to like get level ups and stuff, all experience from all these canines. Then um, oh, and there's a flower by the way. And then yeah, and then you die. Like trust me, just die. Um, yes, just die. Then you will you will can you will keep all your experience, and the star will have reappeared. So you can just keep doing that over and over again, get unlimited experience, and pretty much max out your levels if you want. Dead end, and they won't give up. I'll just have to hide. And he runs off to hide, so where has he gone to hide? We'll find out next time, and Mallow says the obvious, yes, he's the nabby of this game. 
Alright, so thank you everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.